Hi out there, this is my uh, new Vela uh, WMD3 uh, desoldering um, station and uh, iron station. Um, it has three uh, irons you can connect. You can uh, connect uh, some hot air iron where it, uh, yeah, where it uh, gives you uh, hot um, air. Um, 450-500 degrees hot air to the circuit board so you can desolder on SMD components and there's also a vacuum, built-in vacuum pump uh, the vacuum pump is uh, working on this one uh, I got a little issues with the, the air, there's no air coming out so I'm gonna open it now, I just got it today um, originally there is an, uh, there's a lock here or key, um, I don't have the key and I don't care about it because you can do a lot of strange things in this station. Um, let me just power it on. So here yeah, it's on. Uh, you can set the temperature as I said and uh, you can also, here you can see you can move over the different and you can also set the air pressure. Um, that's that's nice. Um, you can also with with the ah, okay. There's no iron, but you can with the time set how long time it it's allowed to uh, use vacuum or or air output. Uh, so it can be, for instance, five seconds, and then no longer because then you can start to have damages or anything. Or if it's somebody uh, presses a uh, button by incident that it doesn't keep on forever uh, putting 400 or 500 uh, degrees Celsius hot air out in the area that might be causing some serious issues. Um, okay, I have uh, unscrewed uh, the plugs, so let's lift. Oh, okay, there's... There is an... Okay, so I should be able to get it off. Okay, so... Um, here is uh, the pump. Let, let me... Uh, I have it, um, a desoldering iron here. So... Connect that one it should be okay to put it here. Whoops! And you see now it starts to, uh, as I said before, here here just the timer is off. Uh, oh, there, and the temperature is set for 450 degrees, and now it's still heating. So you can see now. And if I'm pressing here. see at the pump starts. Ah, and here is also already the issue why uh, there's no output on the hot air. It's it's simply a, a, a bad tube so I just have to replace this one um, and this is this is normally some heavy heavy rubber you should use for this. Somebody replace this with some uh, yeah, some, I would call it crap. <laughs> um, definitely not something that would hold forever. So uh, I guess that if I do like this and push the button here, just bear with me, I don't have that many fingers around. Yeah, now it's in blowing. So everything is actually working just as uh, supposed to. It's just this little um, here that needs to be replaced. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, yeah, you can see it's completely rotten. Um, some people don't know what they're doing. But okay. Uh, unless it was meant like this, I doubt it. So, yeah, but uh, see, it's a huge transformer. Um, let 
and there is uh, the circuit board and the control boards and so on and uh, yeah and here is uh, for the vacuum so you can see what vacuum it's running with so um, yeah that was a uh, nice it was actually quite a bargain because i got a lot of extra um, handsets ready uh, got this um, hep one which is a uh, hot air uh, I guess the guy who sold it was because the hot air was not working anymore. But uh, yeah. So now it soon it will be able to blow with uh, with a very high temperature again. And uh, then I have some things to desolder SMDs again. Um, and this design is also it. This design just cost a fortune. It's ridiculous how expensive it is. But it is also really, really a handy tool as, as long as with this one. So if you can uh, find one of these, I will give it a go. Uh, instead of having a single station, then you have three in one. So you can have a hot air and standard iron and, um, and a desoldering iron. So uh, what's not to like?